Opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of the station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I've got this planet in my hands. You know I'll waste it if I can. And if it all turns to shit Oh wait, let's try that again My life's too short to have a plan Here, let me help you understand First take this drink and this pill Relax your mind and be still Let's find out who I am Cause I American trash. American border to border, border to border. No, it's what this guy has brought to uh, wrestling. Amazing guy for training, putting shows together. Well, thank you very much. And I, yes, I, everybody doing okay or what? <laughs> You'll be doing fine after you see the show that they, they have for you this evening. Incredible card. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I've been around 100 years of, in the promotion end and wrestler and whatever. That tells you how old I am. But anyway, I just finished doing a movie, actually. I'm, I'm going to give MTS a plug. It's a documentary movie, and it's uh, under the promoter, the story of Tony Condello. If you uh, want to click on on MTS, you got to have MTS cable. I believe it's on home video. You can see it for free if you have MTS uh, cable, that is. It's a great story. It's the story of my life. It's an hour program, so click in, and you'll see more about promoting. I'm not here to talk about Tony Condello anymore. Uh, first of all, before I bring in, introduce a gentleman, which he does not need an introduction, a promoter here locally, which I've seen this evening, I haven't seen this for many, many years, he did a hell of a job as a promoter and bringing in a superstar that you've seen already, he needs a great hand, come on, let's hear it. As a matter of fact, he's got a store down here, I forgot the name of it. Any wrestling item that you want, you just go see him. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this gentleman I'm gonna bring into the ring is not only that he been in wrestling a long, long time, and he did it all. Never mind Tony Condello, this guy did it all, and he been through everything. He's been a champion many, many times. I even lost count myself, I think seven or 10 times. He's a hell of a good friend of mine, and but he's a hell of a wrestler, one of the best I ever seen. Him and all his family too. He doesn't need no introduction, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring in the only legendary, and is a legend today, Brett Hitman Hart. One thing to you, sir. Welcome to Winnipeg. I've been seeing you for a long, long time, and it's my pleasure, one more time, to shake the legendary and the legend, Bret Hart. It's all yours. Thank you, Tony. I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and uh, supporting uh, a nice independent wrestling production. You know, it's uh, independent wrestlers that that are ultimately going to be the stars of the future and. Uh, 
getting a start and wrestling in front of a crowd and having fans come out and support him in the beginning of their careers is, is critical for all of them. And we appreciate everyone coming out tonight, especially on a cold night. Uh, it's nice everybody come out. Um, I just, you know, for me, coming from Winnipeg, coming back to Winnipeg, uh, I got a lot of really great memories here. Uh, the wrestlers used to always come here and it was always so cold, but being a Calgary boy was not so hard for me. But uh, I remember coming here and uh, one thing I always appreciate about coming to Winnipeg was that the fans here were always so, um, they were such good fans. And they really, wa they understood wrestling and they, they, um, they had a lot of great wrestlers that came up here too, like Vern Gagne and uh, Nick Bockwinkle and all these guys I remember in the AWA that would come up here all the time. But they were great wrestlers and uh, they got, uh, you know, they touched a lot of fans up here for a long time. And I just, I remember I was lucky enough to start in the WWF about 1984 would be, I think, the first time I came here. And it was, uh, you know, it was just nice to come here where fans, you know, they, they love wrestling. And uh, I was the guy that, First of all, this is not the Bret Hart Memorial Love Fest. This is to be or not to be. And I am Michael James Arnott, the first. Oh, wait a minute here. They call you the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Well, you don't look too good tonight, Bret. And you know what? This isn't Calgary. This is Winnipeg. This is Mike Arnott country. So tonight, we're going to find out just how tough Brett the Hitman Hart really is. Wow. What is Arnott doing? Is he challenging the Hitman? This crowd is coming unglued here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I see you got, you got backup. He's got backup. Zach Mercury. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I, I, I appreciate the fact that you carried a bit of a grudge since you lost to Kevin Nash. And, I know that you, you somehow you blame me for it, but uh, you know I got a little tiny stress fracture in my foot, and it doesn't, you know, I'm limping a little bit, but I got a nice cast on. And if you guys want to get funky, we can get funky. Whoa. I'm not too, I'm not afraid of either one of you guys. Zach Mercury is no spring chicken. Get a couple guys out here. Two guys going against the, the Hitman's wearing a damn cast right now. The Canadian legend. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mark Merrick, Big Boy Smith Jr. hitting the ring. Clearing out all this riffraff. It looks like Arnott Country just got a little bit smaller here tonight in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Anyway, these guys just turned. My apologies for the interruption. 
And I just want to finish up here. Wow. What a save. Go back and play with your Barbie. Anyway, uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. And uh, enjoy yourselves. Have a great time. And uh, we'll see you later on. Thank you very much. Mercury and Mike Arnott coming out to challenge him. Did not go that well for them. We are going to start the action off right now. Oh, what a, what a huge card we have for you tonight. We're going to start off the action with our first contest. This following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, your referee, Manny Manila. Big card like this, and this is the from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in one hundred and ninety pounds, Abel Wolf. opponent from Denver Slope, Colorado, weighing in 170 pounds, he is one half of the Primo's Hardcore Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Polly B. Accompanied to the ring by the Casanova Kid.
two new combatants have never faced each other before, that's going to lead to a feeling out process, usually, ladies and gentlemen, where you just kind of get things going. You want to see what your opponent has to give at any given time. Joining me now here, oh man, he's back already. He's already come back from wherever rock he hit under. Mike Arnott joining the broadcast booth. Mike Arnott, what, what were you doing out there? Well, I'm a little, I'm a little out of breath right now. Take a water. I'm, I'm feeling disrespected. I was, I can't believe, I can't believe the conduct of Brett the Hitman Hart. What, what kind of a, a Canadian hero is he supposed to be treating an innocent broadcast journalist such as myself in such an atrocious manner. Now hold on, Did, was I watching the right monitor? Because you came into the ring interrupting his interview time and you challenged the guy, you take off. Are, are, are you surprised? That was my time. That was supposed to be to be or not to be. This is the debut of to be or not to be. This is gonna be the Piper's Pit of the 21st century. And this is how I'm treated. I'm shocked, I'm appalled. I, I, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm speechless and you know that I'm not speechless often. Well, why don't you tell me then, while you're collecting your thoughts, why don't you tell me what the hell was Zach Mercury doing out there? Zach Mercury was protecting his investment. Beautiful neck breaker. Pauly B going for the cover, two count. By well, who is Manny this Pauly B? I've never seen this guy before. Neither have I. A newcomer to here to Winnipeg, coming by way of Denver. Denver, Obviously. Colorado. I believe he's from the Dirty South Side of Denver, Colorado. Is that correct? That, that very well could be. One half of the hardcore champions out in Primo's hardcore wrestling. He's in the ring right now with a, the KG Able Wolf. That's right. Another Lance Storm trainee. He's fighting his way out. A couple of hard elbows. DDT. Right on his head. That could be it for Abel Wolf. This could be an upset victory for Polly B. Not quite, not quite. Went for a quick cover, but did not hook that leg. Not able to get the three count. Manny Manila, though, right there for the count. What's his name? Manny Manila? Manny Manila. Seems pretty obvious to me. I want to know what his mother was on. Got a lot of leverage under that neck right now. Right on the chin. Get in there, Manny Manila. That could be a chokehold. It's just a matter of a fraction of, a, of an inch between a legal hold and a legal hold. It looks crowd like trying to get behind Abel Wolf here right now. If the crowd isn't going to win the match for you, Abel Wolf, you're going to have to do that on your own. Very true. It might give him just that little Beautiful edge he's looking for to make a comeback, and it looks like he's well on his way. Oh, he missed again. Wow. Wow. Ollie B seems to be having a good time for sure. Oh, well, you're not going to pin him with a cover like that. No. Definitely not a textbook. But you know what he's doing? He's gaining a psychological advantage because he knows that he can beat him any time he wants. Well, that may be, but uh, that was not the time for sure. Beautiful super kick by Abel Wolf. Oh, my God. That could be it. That could be it for Pauly B. I think he just kicked him right back to the dirty south side of Denver, yes, Colorado. Very much so. Look at that. Going for the cover. But again, Abel Wolf not hooking the leg himself. Well, this Polly B is proving to be a tenacious little devil. Back and forth. 
four carries. Hook comes down. Back suplex into a cradle pin. Look at this. Two count. Wow. Near fall after near fall. And this is only our opening contest. Oh. Manila was not in. Come on. That should have been a disqualification, but he was not in the proper position to see that. I don't know. Oh, oh. Abel Wolf will be howling more like a coyote tonight after the off shot. Look out! Wow! Oh, beautiful elbow drop, and that's it for Abel Wolf. Nobody's gonna get up from that. Oh! Abel Wolf finding a way. He got hammered with that elbow drop off the top rope. He's setting him up for something here. Oh, he stopped and blocked. Manila's in position. He's got the. He got him. Who got him? Who got him? What a roll up. It's not going to be party time. I want to see. I want to see a replay because I. I think the Wolf's shoulders were on the mat. I want to see a replay. Well, we'll have to see a replay on that one. I think that we have just seen a travesty of justice here, kid. Manila calling what he saw the same way he called the no low blow. Three count for Abel Wolf defeating Pauly B. I want to examine this Manny Manila's referee's license because I think he got it out of a Cracker Jack box. We all know they don't let just anybody. Again. Come on, let's give it a twist. And if it all turns to shit, and oh, wait, let's try that again. My life's too short to have a plan. Let me help you understand First take this drink and this pill Relax your mind and be still Let's find out who I am Cause I I'm Kid Remington We're joined by Mike Arnott He's, He's decided to grace us with his presence once again I need no introduction, Kid Remington Rob Oh, Rob Ryzen oh. just attacked by Zach Mercury, the max package. Oh, Rob Rising is just getting up. Well, Zach Mercury, that's my man, that's my protege. Absolutely the most talented man in professional wrestling today, Zach Mercury. And right now he is showing why he's the most, not only the most talented man in wrestling today, he is the most aggressive man in wrestling today. Now, is this even the match? Is this even the guy that Rob Rising's supposed to be wrestling? Or did Zach Mercury just come out here like it he did with you and Bret Hart? It doesn't matter Mercury. Zach Mercury wants an opponent. Zach Mercury picks his own opponents. Whoa! I think he just got mercurized. He went right into the steps. Tell me he learned how to fall, folks. His face went right into those steps. Zach Mercury just putting the boots to Rob Ryzen. Now, what is the referee even doing here? Is this a match? Nobody's rung a bell. Nobody's told us anything. It's just Zach Mercury bullying a guy. When you're Zach Mercury, you don't need a bell to be wrong. Oh. That'll give you a negative attitude in a hurry, folks. Rob Ryzen. Yeah. Don't, don't do it, Josh. Don't, don't give him a microphone. Bad things happen when Zach Mercury gets a hold of a microphone. Sorry about that, Rob, but the only thing rising here tonight is the Mercury. Mercury. Come on. I didn't come here to perform in front of any of you because in the land of the Max Package, you're all just basic cable. Now, unbelievable. What I did come here for was to address something that needs to be addressed. Something that for 14 months has been eating at the very feet of the ultra mega role model, Zach Mercury. You see, Comic-Con 2012, one of the biggest independent wrestling matches in Manitoba history. Zach Mercury and Kevin Nash otherwise known as the Giant Diesel. One of the best matches in front of the biggest crowd 
anyone has ever seen. And I walked in as champion, and I walked out without my belt and with a head ringing from a shot in the head from that very belt. And who counted the three in that match? Why, everybody's favorite legend, Brett Hitman Hart. Oh yeah, cheer and laugh, cheer and laugh. But for a fact of the matter is that I know and everybody else knows is that not five months later, a return match with Kevin Nash, his shoulders were on the mat for one, two, three, five, me! Now for those of you too dumb to figure out what that means, that means the sole responsibility for me losing my belt lies with the hitman. Because to me, he's not a hitman, he's hit and run. Now wait a minute there. You can't just go calling out a guy like that and saying stuff yeah. like that. He I hasn't said anything earlier. that isn't true. I let it slide. But nothing, and I mean nothing, is going to stop me from getting my hands on that no good, two-bit, washed-up legend and making him explain his actions in the center of this ring. And if he doesn't comply, I'll break his other ankle. And there is nobody anywhere that is going to stop me. That's some pretty bold words from Zach Mercury coming out here. I was wondering what the point was. Well, I think Zach Mercury has just laid down the law. Hey, there's a lot of heroes in the back. This was their chance. This was their chance to impress somebody. The station management is sitting over there. Nobody, they know. They know just like all of you that I am the unstoppable force of independent wrestling today. I am the 21st century post-modern hero, and I will not be denied justice. Justice here, in the middle of this mall, in the middle of this ring. I don't think anybody wants to come out here and face Zach Mercury. All you people. Sounds like he's just laid down an open challenge. But we have nothing but cowards in, in this dressing room. I don't think anybody's gonna come out here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just kind of shocked as to as what's going on here. We were supposed to have a match. And then he came in, Zach Mercury jumped his opponent, um, Rob Ryzen, beat him senseless within an inch of his life, tossed him out of the ring grab the mic and now he's challenging somebody else? Or is he just saying he's gonna attack Bret Hart at some point in time? I think that Zach Mercury is frustrated. He's frustrated by the action. The opinions expressed on the program you have just watched are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of the station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. 